Hey guys, ENMC here. Welcome to the first episode of ENMC Plays Saints Row 2. That's right, we're going back to the second game of the franchise. New game, of course, casual as last time. And once again, and as you know, this is supposed to be the explosion that uh, happened at the end of Saints Row 1, which I am not playing. I am only doing the first two, three, four, get out of hell. I am not going to add a fifth game into that segment. So yeah, I'm not, if, if I am begged enough by peop, by my viewers, I might do Saints Row 1. I'm going to turn off the mic right now because we have a cutscene coming up, so be right back. And I'll explain some of the events afterward, okay? So be You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an altar exec, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. Oh, for a dead woman, she sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. Billy said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Anyway, uh, for those that are wondering what they're referring, what they were referring to, uh, that was the events of the last game, Saints Row, uh, what's Burley? I have no clue. Oh, you can't get a preview this time around? Oh, that's Burley. He looks fat. I'll take bodybuilder. Uh, age. In reality, I think I'll take Yun rather than that. Um, body, um. There is no fat. Uh, and actually, I'm just gonna randomize the face. I can't make it look a lot like the boss looked in Saints Row the Third, I'm sorry to say. But I can make it close. Or Saints Row 4. Okay, that's good. Like I said, I can't... No, not yet. Um, let's see. Hair is next. Hair, head hair, primary. Oh wait, you actually want to get your head hair first. Uh, I don't want corporate at all. I don't think, uh, and if you're, I have no idea what this is, a hair, what this haircut's referring to, the Vlad. To be fair, the tribal mullet seems to be the brotherhood mullet. That's actually kind of close to how the hair looked in the last... No, wait. This is close to how the hair looked last game. Okay, I did have a mustache, in case no one remembers. Uh,
So I'm going to try to make it look as close to my actual hair as possible. Beard. I do have a full beard, but not... Yeah, that's kind of close to my actual beard. Uh, facial hair color. Hair primary color. To be fair, yeah, you can actually have it be two colors. If you don't want it to match. Me, I kind of don't, so guess what? I, I do have a bit of red highlights in my actual hair, so I guess I'll go with that too. Sideburns. And I also do have sideburns. But I don't have mutton chops. Eyebrows, which I do kind of have. I don't trim them, but to be fair, I kind of like trimmed, to be fair. I don't like bushy either. I'll take uh, neutral, I guess. Yeah, that works. Makeup. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna wear a wig sick. Entire face. My makeup? Holy crap, I can look like the Joker. Okay, now you've also got uh, the voice. kill out of hatred, I kill out of love. That's the Spanish voice, but as you notice, there's no, like, normal Caucasian voice, so I'm just gonna go with the British one. <laughs> I like that. It works. Movement style. to the mail of the last game. Oh yeah, I only have a brawler melee style. That's all I've got. Uh, it's Fonzies. <laughs> That's the same time I had last game. What? You better speak up, brother. I'll use that as the taunt, and now we are gonna start the game, and I'm gonna turn off the mic because the cutscene's about to start, okay? Later, I'll turn it back on once the cut. Yes, that looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. Your patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. Psst. Hey. Is it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely. I know a way out. Yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Getting out of here is a two-man job, and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blown the fuck up. You need me. The hell I do, I got the saints. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? 
How long do you think you've been out? Oh, I don't know, mate. Two to three weeks. Look, I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can't outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. All right, let's get out of here. But yeah, this is... Wait, do we have subtitles? Uh, I don't know. Do we have the subtitles on? I have no idea if it's in display or vid... Yes, they're on. Okay, mini-map view, rotational. Yeah, that ought to keep the uh, thing from getting... I have a LED TV now nowadays, so yeah. Yeah, I think it went well too. I am going to just skip the tutorial. Mostly because I am by it. I've played this game before. Carlos. By the way, yeah, this is the same Carlos that you've heard about in the, the last in four and the, actually you didn't hear that audio log did you I keep forgetting you guys didn't actually hear that no one dies in still water I keep forgetting you guys never heard that audio log yeah but this is the same Carlos that uh Sorry about that, Carlos. He, uh, yeah, this is the same Carlos. That, if you guys are familiar with Saints Row lore, Carlos is not long for this world. And now I've got a shotgun. I've got a shotgun. Yes, I am quoting Resident Evil. That's the armory. Yeah, the guards only have, uh, their batons, I should know. Okay, where's the stairway out of here? There is a stairway leading back down to the prison. Yeah, there is. Okay, the controls have been kind of switched. I'm used to Sprint being a completely different control from the one it is here, but... And yeah, I guess they would have changed it in between games. Mostly because, yeah, there were a lot of guys in purples. Purple, last time. But to be fair, the reason I think they mention, uh, Carlos mentions that his brother was in the Saints is because a lot of random Saints were, and a lot of random pet people were played by the guy, by Carlos's voice actor. <laughs> and yeah, this is the game where we're intro- I'm gonna put meet them, at the, the word meet in their name, even though I'm mentioning this is the game that we're introduced to them in. And, I do that because it's the first time we're ever meeting them. So yeah, uh, this is the game that Shondi and Pierce were introduced. God, the graphics in part two and two aren't as great as the one in, t in three or four. I'll, I'll admit that, but it's aged a little bit well. I will admit that. To be fair, nobody, when you escape a prison, nobody knows if it's going to work. Oh, frick. Wait, do they have, is the classic station still here? 
Yes, it is. Granted, I don't remember if you can make a mixtape here. I think you can, but it's a lot of hard work. Hangman's Wharf. You really want to name the, the your uh, the wharf at your prison, Hangman? Seriously? That's like me running a uh, dairy and naming uh, the area where I take the cows out to feed the slaughterhouse. Warp to shore. Warp to shore. To be fair, we are about to try we're about to get onto a boat. Boat time! Boat time! Get the boat. I'm driving! Defend the boat. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that thing in the corner. But I guess it's necessary. Yes, I know how to use a gun, Carlos. Shut the fuck up. Yes, they changed the driving controls in between games, too, I, no I noticed. Here you actually have to use A to drive for some stupid reason. On the bright side, the shooting button is still the button it was in the, nu in the last game. Next cutscene begins. I am going to turn off the mic again. I will admit the graphics still look good for a game that came out like half a half a half last decade. So yeah, this game came out like. Look at the water. I mean, okay. Well, I mean, it's kind of lagging a bit, but I guess because I have a new I have an HD TV now. Actually, I never know. I actually never wondered this, but I'm gonna try something a little weird. Let's see. Menu. Here I go. Menu. Uh. I have no idea what game mode is, so you know what, I'm just going to exit the menu. I was going to put it on game mode, but even I don't know what that is. And it doesn't really matter anyway, because the TV is because this is picking footage from the 360, not my TV. Because I seriously do not know what game mode is. What, no more shit? No more boats? Then we're home three? Okay, mic off now. That's the route? It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ultra got involved. The clothing company? After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ultra picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere. On TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Ultra is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. We're gonna find the other Saints. <laughs> what other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronan and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Oh, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. Thanks, Carlos. Anytime. But yeah, if you really don't get it, a lot has changed in between the first game and the second game. And to be fair... Now to be fair, I'm also going to want to get some new clothes, so... Oh yeah, downloadable vehicles, I forgot about that. 
Although, I don't remember if there is a uh, upgrade thing, like in the third, first game. We do have a wireless, but I don't remember if we have that. We don't have homies yet. We do have a station selection, but we don't have a... But we don't have anything yet, so yeah, that's sad. A little sad. Uh... Fish! That's fish! I forget, dude, does it start when you walk right over it? No, it does, they don't. Cause like I said, I really, 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 really... people up in this? I don't remember. Come on, give me your money, dude. Never mind. I can't mug him. I am gonna... I don't remember if it's... I don't have a map here. Ouch. Stupid ambulance drivers. Don't really have a map, but as you can see, yeah, the the map pretty much everything where it's this HUD in the corner that's bugging me. I'm worried it might get glued and ghosted into the screen, but uh, yeah, I am gonna buy some clothes before the next mission happens, mostly because uh, for the most part you don't want to be seen going into a. Uh, Closer, baby. I gotta get a new neighbor. Five ninety one. Fuck you, asshole. Now we have eight forty nine. I am just trying to get enough money so I can have enough so I can buy some clothes. Cause to be fair, like I said, I do not want to be seen going to a bar in this prison attire. That's the last thing you want is for somebody to know, hey, guess what? I just, hey, guess what? I just, what happened to me? I just escaped from prison. What did you do? Jack! Druggie! And to be fair, yeah. Sloppy seconds. Not the best clothing store here. To be fair, but to be really be fair, I'm gonna need some more money. I'm gonna end the episode here and just get the clothes off screen. And I'll start the next episode afterwards. So, uh, see you guys for episode 2 of ENMC Plays Saints.